you came to faith before Val or after Val? Well before, so. Well before, right. Yeah. I'm thinking of the person out there who's watching this going, oh, I wish I had a husband who had the same kind of faith that was praying for me and we could share that together. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a time in your marriage where you weren't on the same page sp spiritually? And what advice oh, yeah. could you give to maybe some wives who are yeah. saying, I wish my husband was on the same page? Yeah. Val and I were the same type of Christian when we first met. We both believed in Jesus, but we only went to visit him on Easter and Christmas. Got it. That was it. And then my faith started evolving because of our relationship and you just saying, hey, can read this. Hey, can read that. But Val didn't want anything to do with it when I started saying, hey, I'd like to go to church. He was like, great, you can do that. I don't, I'm not interested in doing that. And so I turned to 1 Peter 3.1 in the Bible that says, wives, likewise, be submissive to your own husbands so that even if they do not obey the word, they, without a word, may be won over by the conduct of their wife. Mm. And this verse put it back on me that if I can show Val who Christ is by my conduct, by the way I talk to him, by the way I interact mm. with him, by the way I... Oh gosh, Kirk, you did a whole movie on this. <laughs> Fireproof. But it's, yeah, but yours it's is all, real. This is, yours is real life. The, all the principles of it. If I can, I don't even have to talk about God, but if I show him th through my actions to be Christ-like within our marriage, he's going to see changes in me that he won't be able to deny. And that's what I did. And I prayed for his salvation every day and prayed that verse over our marriage and tried to change me. And, and then a few years later, Val did come to Christ. Mm. We were baptized together. He actually ba baptized me in the Atlantic Ocean. It was pretty incredible. And um, you know, we, uh, the other part of the encouragement I wanna say is that Val has become a wonderful leader in our home as a spiritual leader, but mm. there's still a lot that he looks to me for in spiritually leading because he's still growing. I've had more years yeah. in, in nurturing and developing my relationship with Christ, and that's okay. You can't expect someone who's come to Christ to just automatically be yeah. uh, at, that's have right. all the Bible knowledge and have the heart transformation that, that you have. And it's wonderful to grow together and nurture them along the way. But um, as much as I'm like, man, I want a man to come in, like my husband to just lead, lead, lead spiritually. It's amazing when that happens, but even if the growth feels small, it's still growth and it's there and continue yeah. to nurture and pray over it and be supportive.